just so everybody knows, probiotics are, quote, friendly bacteria. Mm -hmm. uh, prebiotics are the sugars and fibers that bacteria like to eat. So mm -hmm. it's the fertilizer, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, so most of the probiotics that people take mm -hmm. actually never get past uh, stomach acid. They're destroyed by stomach acid. So that doesn't mean that they don't have an effect because there are some interesting papers that dead probiotics still have an effect. So that's number one. Uh, number two, the vast majority of probiotics that are available for purchase are not part of our native flora. They're not part of our gut flora. And what's interesting is most of them uh, go on a spa retreat in your gut for a couple of weeks and then they leave mm -hmm. and because it's not part of their flora. There are a couple of interesting papers that there may be a couple species of lactobacillus that can set up shop, yeah. but don't, don't count on it. Let's put it mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. What I think is really exciting um, that I've written about in the longevity paradox is mm -hmm. in the lining of our gut, the lining of our gut is the same surface area as a tennis court inside of us. Mm -hmm. And that surface area is so big because we basically have all these finger projections uh, into our gut, which are called villi and microvilli. Right. And so we essentially have a shag carpet inside of us. And that's why there's a tennis court inside of you. Um, okay. Everybody looks down and goes, there's no yeah. tennis court down there. I guarantee you. So at the base of these microvilli, I think you can see my fingers, they're called crypts. And like a, like a crypt in a coffin. Uh, and at the base of these crypts are not only our stem cells for the gut, but also a collection of essential bacteria. <laughs> and they literally kind of coexist in this little space where nobody can get to them. Mm -hmm. And what's exciting is that you can wipe out most of your microbiome with a course of antibiotics. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But if you give these guys what they need to grow, they will come out of hiding uh, and start growing on the food. And that's actually, I think, really exciting. Yeah. Um, so I'm not, I, I like probiotics as much as anybody. I have a probiotic that doesn't get eaten by bacteria, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's far more important to have prebiotics, number one, that can target the food needs of these probiotics. Right. I use the example for my patients in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. uh, let's call probiotics grass seed. And so I give my patients some grass seed because uh, they want to grow a lawn. And they come back a month later and said, you sold me bad grass seed. And I said, why? They said, well, it didn't grow. And I said, well, what'd you do? And they said, well, you know, we put it on the sand and walked away. And I said, well, you know, did you fertilize it? There's no, you know, did you water it? Well, no, you didn't tell me to. So it's like, okay, swallow all the probiotics you want, but you got to give these guys what they want to eat. You got to, and those are prebiotics. Now, Absolutely. you can take prebiotic fiber, uh, which mm -hmm. I think is important, or you can eat prebiotics. And I think that's equally as important. Yes. So the other thing that people make a mistake, uh, if we, if you want to be simplistic, there's bad bugs in your gut and good bugs in your gut, and they compete for food. Mm -hmm. And the bad bugs love simple sugars and they love saturated fats yeah. and they thrive on these. And in fact, they grab it before anybody else can have it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the good bugs actually don't do well on simple sugars and saturated fats, and they instead like, I hate the word, complex carbohydrates, um, fructo-oligosaccharides, mm -hmm. other oligosaccharides, galactosaccharides. 
So these are very common in, for one thing, tubers. They're very common in the chicory family. Yes. What the heck is chicory? Well, radicchio is in almost every grocery store. Some people yeah. think it's a red Italian lettuce or something. It's mm -hmm. part of the chicory family. Belgian endive is another example. Jerusalem artichokes is yeah. another great example. Artichokes, artichoke hearts. Mm -hmm. So they give these guys what they want to eat. Take mm -hmm. away the simple sugars and saturated fats. And it's amazing. You will, you know, make a bunch of things happen. Yes, and you'll be growing some of those those good bacteria and feeding them good stuff. 